This is Dennis Martin, President of Demartech. In today's video, we will be discussing storage performance in a high volume web server environment. LSI Corporation asked us to evaluate their warp drive, PCI Express solid state storage drive, in a web server setting, comparing warp drive to hard disks. One of the things that we looked at as we've been testing solid state storage is where are the bottlenecks? And we're finding that by implementing solid state storage, we find that we can move the bottleneck to some place you might not expect. In this particular case, we found that when we first began testing on the one gigabit network, we found that we weren't getting very good performance on our warp drive. And then we realized the bottleneck was not the storage, but it was the network. So we moved over to the 10 gigabit network, and from there we were able to achieve the best performance for warp drive. So let's take a look at our configuration here. So you see here in the center we have our web server with a 10 gigabit adapter connected to our 10 gigabit switch and we have two other servers driving the load to that web server also with 10 gigabit adapters. On the right side then you see the adapters that we used and the enclosure. So you'll see at the bottom here we have a two and a half inch disk enclosure full of 24 disk drives and we have these adapters. So let's take a look first at the warp drive. This is the LSI warp drive. It's a solid state disk, holds about 300 gigabytes of storage. It's all flash memory and you can see here it's a PCI Express card so it fits right on the PCI Express bus. The first hard drive test we did was with this LSI 9211 HBA, and this, in this configuration we used just six drives in this enclosure connected to this uh, HBA. And then the second test we did was with 24 disk drives using the LSI Megaraid 9280 card, again all 24 drives connected to this one. So one of the things you have to do when you're looking at web servers is a number of different performance metrics, so let's take a look at a few of them that we did here. So the first thing we want to talk about is the total number of hits. A web hit uh, is anything that comes back from the web server. So each HTML text page, each graphic image, each one of those that comes back in a page counts as a hit. So very frequently you'll ask for a page, but you'll get lots of hits because of all the graphic images on that page. So let's look at what we did here. So you can see here in the six drive test that we ran for 90 minutes, we got more than 5 million hits over that time period. And again, this is on the 10 gigabit network. In the, with the 24 drive configuration, you can see here we got more than 20, 32 million hits. And then for warp drive, we got more than 100 million hits in 90 minutes. Another thing that we like to measure is total throughput. This is the number of bits that went through the system from the web server back to the client. So let's take a look at these. On average here, you'll notice that the six drive test, we have a little ramping period. So we decided to calculate the average starting from the 10 minute mark through the end of the run. So there's actually 80 minutes of average being measured here. You can see in the six drive configuration we got more than 300 megabits per second. With the 24 drive configuration you can see it's a little more stable, uh, but we achieved 1600 megabits per second. But finally in the warp drive configuration, uh, more than, well over 5000 megabits per second, more than three times faster than the 24 drive and more than 17 times faster than the six drive configuration. Another measure of uh, web server performance is response time. This is how quickly does the web server return a full page. So let's take a look at what we got in this case. So in this case we want a lower number and that shows a better response. So a slower system then of course has higher response. So you can see here the six drives after a few minutes began to ramp down and got down to about 0.17 seconds out at the end of 90 minutes. The 24 drive you can see here got to 0 0.03 seconds after 90 minutes, but the warp drive you can see was down to 0 0.01 seconds of average page response time after 90 minutes. In fact, it had that same rate for most of the run. Uh, you can see again, three times faster than the 24 drive configuration and more than 16 times faster than the 6 drive configuration. So in addition to measuring performance, we also wanted to look at power consumption because that's a, a big a big deal in a lot of power, uh, a lot of uh, data centers these days. So let's look at the power consumption of what we did with each of the configurations. And just to make it, uh, give us a nice baseline, we ran 90 minutes of the server without any of these storage solutions in it, just to get a solid, flat baseline. So let's take a look at that. So you can see here, starting at the bottom here, you see this purple line. This is the server without any of these storage units in it, just running for 90 minutes doing nothing. And you can see somewhere in the neighborhood of 175 watts. Uh, the warp drive was next as far as power consumption. You can see once the test started you can see a nice uh, spike in performance here, but you can see it's somewhere in the 230 range approximately in watts. Uh, the next one up is the six drive configuration, as you might imagine, six hard drives uh, in that enclosure. 
Uh, and again, this is the server and the storage and everything. Uh, you can see somewhere up here in the range of uh, 280 or so watts. And then finally, the 24 drive configuration, as you expected, was to consume the most power, and it's clear up to about 380 watts for the 90 minutes. So one of the things you can do with warp drive is you can put into a big web server, you can put a warp drive card in there and get a lot more performance with a lot less response time, or you could consolidate multiple servers down to a single server with a warp drive inside it. Either case, you'd be saving money and you'd get better performance. You can get the full report by going to our website at demartech.com slash warp drive. We also have other SSD content in our SSD zone, and that's at demartech.com slash SSD. Check out our website for more video content. I'm Dennis Martin, and thanks for watching.